Hello, the next part of our PowerPoint Lab exercise is to add transitions and animations to our presentation. And if you want to see the transitions and animations that I've used on my lab exercise file, you have to play the video because the PDF file doesn't show the animations and transitions. So you click here and you can see that's a transition. A transition is an effect and I'll replay that. Okay, so here's the transition uh, when the, the title slide is shown. And then here we have an animation where each bullet point fades in. Now this one doesn't have any. Okay, here, this is another animation. So you can watch this entire presentation to see where the animations and transitions are. But I'm going to pause here because you can watch this yourself anytime. And I'm going to show you how you can add similar uh, transitions and animations to your lab exercise. So I'm going back to the lab exercise file that we've been building all throughout. Now if you click slideshow and from current slide, you'll see that you know all the slides look fine, but there's there's no effects when the slide comes in, which is a transition, and the elements on the slide do not have any movement, which would be an animation. All right, so if we want to have those effects, we're going to start with the title slide. So I'm going to click Escape to stop the playback. So here is our title slide. So if you want an effect to apply to the entire slide, you go to Transition here, Transition. And you'll see right now there's no transition, it's none. And you can click this arrow to see all the different transitions. And you'll see that there's many kinds. So the way to go about it is, is just to just point to one of them and just see what it does to your uh, slide. And if you don't like that, you can choose another one. Here's gallery, right? So you don't have to choose exactly the same transition I have, but the one I use in the model answer is called rotate. And so let me look for it here. Um, I also have to, okay, here's rotate, so I go with rotate, so that's rotate. So that's my transition, and you can choose a transition from up here, and if you want to change the duration, for example, transitions are 2 seconds by default. If you want to make it a bit slower, you can make this 2.5. If you want to make it faster, you can change this to 1.5, so you can modify the duration here but I'm just gonna leave it at two seconds now the next one I'm, I want to show you is an animation so in a model answer I animated these bullet points so I click the placeholder that contains the bullet points and then I go to animations now animations and transitions are two different things animations apply to the objects on a slide whereas the transition applies to the entire slide so here I've clicked on this placeholder for the bullet points and right now there's no animation. So I'm going to use a very simple animation called fade. So I click fade. Okay, so that's the preview. And over here there's something called effect options and you can fade the bullets all at once or you can fade them by paragraph. And that's what I want. I want them by paragraph. All right. So the next slide that has an animation or transition is slide four. So I click the object I want to animate, which is this smart art, and then I go to animations. For this one, I chose fly in, and that's the preview. Now right now, fly in, if you go to the options, it flies in from the bottom, so you can control the direction if you want them to fly in from different directions, from left, and so on and so forth you can change it here. But I want to change the sequence also. So right now they fly in as one object. I'm going to do it fly in one by one. All right. Okay, so you can play around with the options. And of course, you can also play around with the duration as well. And so I'm going to continue on. Slide number six has an animation too. And the animation will apply to the smart art graphic here. So I click the object that I want to animate. And then over here, animations, I will also choose fade. And in the options, I'll do it one by one. So they fade in one by one. 
The next one that has an animation or transition is slide number 15. So this is slide number 15 and what I want is to animate these bullets. So I click this one and I want to use this thing called wipe. And for wipe, the option is going to be by paragraph and I can choose from left. So that's for the bullet points. And then I also want to animate this photograph. So I want this photograph to come in after the bullet points have come in. So now I click here and for the photograph, I'm going to choose something called grow and turn here, grow and turn. So let's grow and turn. And you'll see that after I have animated this, it has a number four because it follows one, two and three and four. And finally, I want to show this text box. So for the text box, I'm going to use fade. And now it shows up with the number five caption here. If you want to see all the animations in sequence, you can open animation pane by clicking here and you'll see here one, two, three, four, five. And you can click the X if you want to close it. So you can preview this. So there's the bullet points, there's the picture and there's the caption. The next slide we're going to do is slide 18. For slide 18, I click the smart art graphic and the animation that I apply here is also going to be fly in. And to make things interesting, we'll do it from the top right and we'll do it one by one. There. Now, next I go to slide 19. All right, so a nice effect on slide 19 would be on these arrows. So first, I want this down arrow to come into the slide followed by this one. So I'll animate this one first. I go to animation and I'm going to use wipe. So I click wipe and I want the direction to be from the top because this arrow goes down. Then I animate this arrow also with wipe and this time I want it to go from the bottom this way. So if I play this from the current slide, you'll see. So right now the arrows don't show. It's waiting for me to click uh, any key. So when I click a key, this one goes down. And when I click the next key, this one goes up. So that's just a nice effect to reveal those arrows. And then um, the next one will be slide 20. All right, so slide 20, there's a lot of bullets here. So it would be nice if I faded them in like this right one one by paragraph and then I go to slide 21 for slide 21 since this is my ending slide I want to get people's attention so I'll apply a transition to this slide and the transition I chose is called checkerboard so let's look for checkerboard it's over here okay so that's the preview of checkerboard and for this word art, I want to animate this. So I'm going to go to animation and I'm going to use grow and turn. So let's play, play back this whole slide and see the effect. So I'll play from current slide. There's the transition and then I click any key and there's the animation. And finally, slide number 22. These are my references, so I'm just going to put a transition here, a white transition. And there you have it. So you're welcome to play around with different transitions and animations and look for the combination that works best for your slide design.